Hi and good day to all of you. So we are in our last problem and obviously the last problem is uh, an unbalanced system. So let us uh, read the problem first. Problem number four. A three-phase three-wire feeder has the following line currents and voltages. Uh, VAB is equal to 220 bar 0, then 220 bar 240. The line currents are 30 minus J30 and IC is equal to 29 plus J39.8. Determine the reactive power in KVAR supplied by the feeder and le let rather let line B as your reference. Although it is not stated line B is your fee no, no reference, it's very obvious on the given. Okay, let us analyze the problem first. Okay, the problem here as you can see, okay, at problem number four, okay, this is an unbalanced system. Okay, since that is unbalanced, you can see already why it is unbalanced. Because you can see here the, like, the currents that is flowing on the system. Although, as you can see, the source is balanced. This is your source in terms of the line voltages. And this is your load. And you can see by having the polar representation of 30 minus J30, you have 42.42 bar negative 45. IB is none, but not zero. Huh? Not zero. IC is equal to 29 plus J39.8, which is equal to 49.24, bar 53.92 degree. So you can see here, okay, they are not equal on terms of magnitude and de definitely they are not 120, uh, 120 degree apart. Okay, let us go to the source so that we can see the... Uh, uh, the uh, the uh, sequence. As you can see here, VAB is 220 bar 0, 220 bar 240 positive, and BCA is equal to 120. Now, if you have a positive 240, it means that your B or line, or line voltage at B is in the second quadrant. So, it means this is an ABC clockwise direction. Okay, an ABC or positive sequence. So since we already know the relationships of the voltage, line voltage, and line currents here, and please take note from the definition of a uh, of uh, of power measurement or uh, two watt meter methods that you can have partial voltages and partial currents in determining the power. When you say total power, it is in the input side, of the source. So Again, on the problem, we have partial, you have only IA and IC and VA and VB uh, line voltages and line currents respectively. So you can still determine the total power. You have two watt meters connected on the line. Okay, by the way, we, uh, we have an algorithm. We have, I, I think that is six or uh, the uh, method or uh, procedure to solve this problem. So first, on unbalance, we are already unbalanced. First, we need to draw the wiring diagram. So the wiring diagram is like this. And based on our basic fundamentals, you can recall our basic fundamentals for, for this lesson, that uh, we need to have the six uh, procedures there. The first procedure is wiring diagram. And this is your terminal points, as usual. This is your terminal points, A, B, and C. Okay, you have your watt meter readings, 1, W1 and W2, voltage coil and current coils. Okay, now the uh, broken line here is the common point ground, wherein that is your shunt coil or voltage coil. Okay, you have IA, IB and IC respectively, respectively flowing to the line. And this is what I meant. Obviously, B has no measurement and thus your line B here, okay, will be your free node, wherein you need to have one reference for the shunt coil and thus this is your wiring diagram and we already it is already stated in the problem and we analyze that line b is the free node or reference node and thus we can formulate equations for your watt meters and your uh, reactive meters which is w and q respectively okay let us first have the watt meter readings Okay, it is uh, depends on the connection. So let us see on the connection of the voltage coil and current coil. So voltage coil at watt meter one is connected at A to B, A to B. So in this case we have VAB, and you have your line current IA, and this is your first 
angle, theta 1. Thus, your theta 1 is dependent upon the angle displacement of your voltage, line voltage VAB, and your current IA. So, very easy. Okay? This is very easy to formulate the equations. As long as you have the correct wiring diagram. Okay, W2. Connection is VCB. So, this is VCB. You have your line current IC, angle theta 2, which is dependent upon the angle of VCB and the angle of your current IC. So, which we will dictate or we can uh, uh, see the relationship on the phasor diagram. The only difference of uh, watt meters and your reactive meters is obviously the sine angles. So, you will copy only what we have established on W1 and W2. Okay, theta VAB, then theta IA. So, for the uh, Q2, you have VCB, IC, theta 2, theta VCB, and then theta IC. So, these equations that we formulate on this uh, section or this procedure will be used for the calculations on the next slide. So, please stay tuned for the continuation of this problem. Hi! Let us go to uh, the uh, next procedure, uh, problem number 4, which is we already established the equations on procedure number 3, which is uh, we already obtained W1 and W2, Q1 and Q2 respectively with the corresponding angles theta 1 and theta 2. Now, let us have the uh, phasor diagram of this problem. Okay, so the phasor diagram, uh, if, you can, if you want to uh, know the basics, you can go back to the previous lesson of phase sequences. Okay, now let us have the, uh, the angles of the voltages and the currents which we can plot on the phasor diagram. Please take note, when you say phasor diagram, it's the voltage and current relationships, but our main goal is the angles only. Okay, so for this one, uh, VAB is bar zero. Yes, uh, VAB is uh, our main reference here. Positive 240, it means it will uh, be located at the second quad, uh, on the uh, fourth quad, a uh, third quadrant rather. So VBC will be here. And then you have your VCA, if uh, that is positive 120. And thus, we have an ABC sequence. Okay, this is from the source side, if you can see. Okay, in the source side, it is balanced. Now, in the uh, line currents, we have here a negative 45 degree for IA. So, from the reference, corresponding reference, you have negative 45. And it is on a clockwise direction. And this is for IA. Now, for IC, you have 53.92 positive, and thus this is positive counterclockwise based from the reference, corresponding reference. Okay, now for that, we already established the voltage and current phasor diagrams. Now, we need to get theta 1 and theta 2 based on the phasor diagram. Okay, first you have your VAB here. And then IA, because theta 1 is dependent on the angle VAB and IA. And please take note, to get angle theta, that is the difference between the currents and the, ang, uh, and the voltage. Now, in this case, theta V minus theta I, respectively. So, in that case, you have VAB here, we have 0, and then you have negative, negative 45, the answer is 45 degree. Now, the essence of a phasor diagram is, you can see here, this is your angle theta. That is in between voltage and current, right? So, that is your angle theta. Now, please take note that you can now determine already, specifically, if that angle theta leads or lags. Now, if we have a lagging condition, if you can still recall the power factor uh, descriptions there or indicators, that I will lags V by a certain angle, which is theta. And thus, you can now see there that theta 1 is an angle, uh, is a uh, lagging angle. Okay, now in this case, no, another case for theta 2, we need to have VCB. So, this is VBC. So, very obvious that we need to 
anti-face it. So how it, how we will anti-face it? Get the opposite of this vector. So I could say that is VCB. Now using complementary angles, using fishy fishy. If this is thirty, obviously this is sixty. Fishy fishy. Okay, we can apply the fishy fishy as well. Okay, that is also 60. And thus, we can all get this angle theta 2. Okay? So, theta 2, using theta V minus theta I, you have 60 minus positive 53.92. And hence, we have a value of 6.08 degree in a positive form. So, in that case, you can also, okay, uh, determine if that tattoo is leading or lagging. Well, it's clear as well, if B as our reference, I lags V by a certain angle theta, which is 6.08, and that theta 2 is also in a lagging condition. So that's the essence of the phasor diagram. That's why we use that on phase sequences and on balance and unbalanced systems. Now we can now go to the conclusion of this problem. Stay tuned. Hello to all of you. Let us have the conclusion of our last problem, which is problem number four. So from what we have established on the last slide, we already computed for theta 1 and theta 2 respectively, which is 45 degree for theta 1 and theta 2, you have 6.08 degrees respectively. So, all you have to do is to substitute those values, theta 1 and theta 2, to uh, the equations on procedure 3. So, we have here two, two, uh, W1, 220 times 42.42 times cosine 45. The answer is positive 6.6 uh, kilowatt. So, you need to carry over the positive sign. W2 is 220 times 49.24 times cosine 6.08. The answer is positive 10.771 kilowatt. So you need to carry over the positive sign as well. The only difference between Q1 and Q2 is the sine function. So instead of cosine, you have sine function and the other parameters of VL and IL is the same. So it will yield with positive 6.6 .6 and positive 1.15 respectively. So for this, you can now get PT and QT. So to get PT here or total power, we need to have the summation of all of the wattmeter readings. So you need to add 6.6 .6 and 10.771. The answer is 17.37 kilowatt. To, uh, to have the QT here, the summation of all of the reactive powers of the meters. So 6.6 .6 plus 1.15. So this is the answer for our problem, 7.75 K bar. But if the problem needs power factor of the system, all you have to do is to get the total complex power 17.37 kilo plus 7 plus 7.75 kilo of j which is in terms of rectangular get the polar representation and the angle itself which is your theta of the system here this is based on our basic uh, ac circuits so 19.02 kV is the magnitude thus cosine theta s is your power factor at the sending end so 0 0.913 so how you will determine this leading or lagging well using Cisco table again okay that if there is a positive angle for your S here positive angle for S it will be in a lagging condition so again this SIZQ table is a very very important table so, if we d discuss this one in AC circuits, then it is a good start for determining power factors. So, here, just a recall. So, if you have your S, you have here plus or minus I uh, in terms of minus plus, uh, Z plus minus Q plus minus in terms of a lagging and leading condition of the angle. So, the S here is the angle theta. Uh, rather, yeah, S to Z is angle theta, Q is the magnitude. Okay? 
So that will uh, wrap up our discussion on two watt meter methods. So what you will expect on the next lesson? The next lesson will be, of course, power systems. And power systems is um, uh, is one of my favorite subjects. So please stay tuned with that. And to those who subscribe on my channel, and to those who did not yet subscribe, so please uh, hit the subscribe button on the right side of this video. Maraming salamat po sa suporta. Stay tuned.